so these are reflections. Um, and I'm, again, starting off with this image that many of you might have seen. Um, and this is a photograph of a woman named Greta Stranger. Um, and she's a teacher in Humboldt County, California, my home state. And she's protesting the stay at home order. And this, was to, this picture was taken in about mid-May. And the sign that she's holding, I'm, I don't know if everybody can see it, but she's holding a sign with the image of an enslaved woman in, in 18th century Brazil who was forced to wear an iron muzzle, which was a mechanism of torture. Um, and next to the, the image of this woman is uh, the quote, muzzles are for dogs and slaves, I am a free human being. So this image went viral and was criticized for being racist. And Stranger apologized saying it wasn't her sign. Um, someone handed it to her. Someone else took a picture of her before she quote unquote considered the racist implications. And she, her intent, her intent, she goes on to say, was to take a stand um, for the freedom of all persons. And that she quote unquote, mistakenly held a sign that conveyed the opposite. Please know, she continues, that she respects the dignity of all people and sincerely regrets any suffering it has caused. So um, <laughs> there's much to say about this, right? Um, and so let's first just talk about who this woman was. Um, and there are conflicting accounts about this individual in the, the drawing, right? Um, but, but she's kind of most widely to believe uh, the, a woman called, or the, the picture is called the slave Anastasia. So an enslaved woman um, named Anastasia and is actually revered in Brazil as a symbol of resistance, compassion, and resilience. And according to the legend, she was muzzled at the order of her owner's wife in a jealous rage because her husband habitually raped the beautiful Anastasia. And the muzzle was intended um, to humiliate as well as disfigure Anastasia. Um, and as the, the, the story or mythology goes, Anastasia actually maintained her dignity. She was a healer um, and she actually forgave in part of the story, forgave um, her owners. And, um, and it was ironically, you know, her humanity that she's, that she's revered, is ironically her humanity that she's revered for um, and was revered for before dying of tetanus as a result of uh, these iron restraints that she was made to wear. Um, so a further irony undergirding this predicament or incident is that the muzzle Anastasia was forced to wear originated in 16th century Scotland and was popular and popularized in 17th century England. Um, and it was called a scold's bridle and used to punish women exclusively um, by forcing their silence. And it was a fundamental tool, of course, of, of patriarchal, pa patriarchal control and adopted by enslavers and eventually used to punish Africans for, and their descendants for a variety of violations, including running away, um, attempting suicide through ingesting toxins, um, and apparently being the object of, of sexual violence. Um, and so there are some compelling threads, I think. And as I have been ta thinking about and talking about these um, events of late, you know, the questions of why, why now, what has happened, why, how are these kind of confluence of events led to this uprising? You know, what is this, this, what is this moment that we're in? So 